Hey, it's AU, it's Everyday Ultraman, and guess what guys, the new Ultraman has arrived, check this out. So yeah, I figured that I wanted to do a reaction video with you guys, I have to admit, this is the first time I've seen it. When I saw this on my Twitter feed, immediately, immediately, I made this video straight away. So yeah guys, this is the first time me looking at this. So yeah, wait, I think this is the tweet, yeah. As you can see... It just released by Subaraya, the official Japanese account right here. Of course, we don't we we can't speak Japanese, but it's okay. Uh, I guess we'll just you know shotgun it. But never mind. Here it is. Oh my god, very beautiful, Ultraman trigger. So yeah, it's been rumored for a long time already that it's gonna be uh, a Taiga related Ultraman. I mean, if you guys saw like the the uh the tree the teasers the rumors it was very clear that the new Ultra Man this year was going to be Tiga related so yeah and and it was true as you can see I guess this is like the future version of Ultra Man Tiga they still included the face of Ultra Man Tiga right here as you can see and yeah here is the design so you here you got the main hero apparently this oh yeah apparently it's supposed to mirror Ultra Man Tiga as you can see this one is the main form this one is the light tiga he has a sky form and the power form so which that's really cool and this is the logo the logo looks really similar to ultimate tiga's logo except this one has like a metallic feel and a red and blue color but it's very beautiful so yeah guys this is the official ultimate tiger trigger poster as you can see at the back there's some like egyptian feel it reminds me of ultimate tiga or uh, DC the movie you know how they went to like this island full of Ultraman, the abandoned Ultraman city? Yeah, it just reminds me of that per se, which is ultimately very nice. Ultraman 25th anniversary. Very beautiful, guys. First impressions, I have to say, it does have this uh, awesome look. I have to say, it is quite nice in my opinion. But yet again, I'm a sucker for Tiga, so <laughs> no surprise there. And there you have it. That's a transformation device. It does have a similar uh, structure to like the sparklets. Because the spark lens is similar when you press it, it opens, right? But this one looks like a more futuristic tone. Very beautiful indeed. Here you go, guys. Ultraman Trigger. New Generation Tiga. Yep. 25 years later. <laughs> what else? And then here you have it. Here's another picture of it. Ultraman Tiga. Uh, I'm guessing it'll come out 7. I don't know what 710 means, but yeah. So this is the hero. The spark lens again. The power form, um, Ultraman, the Ultraman main form, multicolor version, and then the sky form. Alright, what else do we have? And here is the full, here is the full design. Okay guys, let's look at it one by one. Here is the multicolor form. and So the multicolor form comes in this knife. He has a ring around it. I don't know, I, I thought it was orb because you know, orb has like a ring as well. So this one has a ring as well. Yeah, the knife looks very interesting, um, very, uh, I have to say, very unique. And I don't know why, it reminds me of, if you guys ever played the game Halo, you know how the monsters have like that knife. Yeah, it just reminds me of that. Let's look at the head. The head overall looks like Tiga, except it has this yellow thing. So b besides the rest, it kind of looks similar to Tiga. Maybe it's like an upgraded version of Tiga, I don't know. And then design color scheme is the same, purple, red, silver, and gold. Same like our beautiful Tiga. Uh, it's got some red thing, except the gold here has like a, like a, as you can see, there's some like Egyptian pattern and everything. So that's like a unique design. Overall, I like it. Uh, honestly, if you ask me, is it better than the classic Tiga? The classic Tiga is hard to beat, guys. So if you ask me, is this better than the classic Tiga? I would say no. Classic Tiga is still better, but this one is also amazing as well. So here is the power version. As you can see, the power version is a bit bulky. You can see by the body here, he's a bit. He's like a Z Beta Smash. He's just tougher than his normal form. So yeah, and here we got a red black form, which is cool. Uh, compared to the normal, the classic Tiga power form, it's just red and white. But for here, you get a bit of black. And then he gets this double-edged sword. I'm not sure about this one. Is it the same one? Okay. I think it is the same one, except this one's just open. So yeah, it can open and become a double-bladed thing, I guess. Um, 
I have to say, I like this face better than the main face. But yeah, it's so cool. The design here is simple. It's got some black finishing touches over there. Very beautiful indeed. I'm liking the power form, guys. I'm liking it. And here we have the sky form. The purple. Unlike the classic Tiga, which is just pure purple. This one, you have some sky blue color in there, as you can see. There's blue, sky blue. It is purple, sky blue, and a bit of gold, which is I think is amazing. And he got an arrow. It reminds me of Nexus. Nexus, uh, the blue form. I forgot. I forgot what the blue form is called. But Nexus blue form. You know how he has the arrow, which is really cool. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So honestly, guys, out of these three, which one do you like the most? In my opinion, I like. The power and the sky vision the best i don't know why i just really like the aesthetics gold purple and sky blue and even silver so yeah guys this is probably my favorite form the multicolor form is my second favorite and the power is the least favorite but all, but all three are beautiful guys don't get me wrong what else do you have and here is the transformation device wow i have to say it is cool it is beautiful wow it, I, I guess it's like a futuristic vision of the spark lens. So it is, again, it's all about upgrades today here, guys. And then it, uh, can, it can turn into a gun, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, because it looks like a gun. So it has a victory vibe. You know how victory can change his DX from a gun into his DX. So yeah, the new Ultimate Trigger will have the same concept from a gun into a DX. And then you got some ammo looking things okay i see so the transformation would be the hero has three ammo i don't know what this is called so let's assume it's called ammo they have three ammo and let's say he wants to change into the multi-form he'll take one of these ammo place it down here and transform okay cool very nice there's a Guts logo there. So it's nice to see that they still use Guts. Wow. I mean the same the same Guts from the Tiga series. Which is amazing. I like that. So here are the three ammos. Very beautiful indeed. And it has like a glass effect. You know how designs like from a glass. Which I think is also a nice touch. Okay. What else do we have? And here is the hero. Uh, this is, I'm assuming this is his biography. But I don't speak Japanese. So... I can understand one bit, but yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna assume it says a good thing about him. But damn, guys, look at the DX, it's massive, it's the same size of his head. Look, that's the head. <laughs> oh my god, it's so big! I didn't expect it to be this big. Wow, yeah, it is definitely big. And oh, okay, and uh, who else? And this is that. Okay, that's it, that's it for the thingy, that's it for the new Ultraman. Tri Ultraman Trick Ultraman Trigger Sorry sorry So yeah guys Overall I really like the new Ultraman And guys what, Let me know in the comments What do you think about the new Ultraman Do you like it? Okay guys That's it for this video uh, It's been Everyday Ultraman And thank you for watching Bye